Good morning, everyone. Happy Christmas Eve, Eve. It is the 23rd of December and we are currently en route to McDonald's. I am frozen. I think it's like minus one degrees today. So it's 10 degrees. It is not 10 degrees. So we're going to pick up breakfast. Yes, yes, breakfast. I am going to get a bacon and egg McMuffin. Everybody prefers the sausages and I don't like the sausage and egg McMuffin. Sorry if anybody else likes them, but I don't like them at all. I got them one time and they resembled E.T.'s flesh and that was the end of me eating them ever. I put up a vlog yesterday and I got the most amazing comments ever. You guys are just the best. I love reading your comments and Vlogmas has just made it like so much better. I am off work tomorrow evening and I have loads of annual leave to take, which I didn't realize because obviously I didn't do anything this summer. So I have... Like, I only took four days annual leave out of something like, I don't know what I had, like 18 days or 17 days, something like that. I have a ton of days to take. So I'm literally taking half of January off and then I'm gonna take, I think a couple of weeks off in March as well. And then I'm on maternity leave in April. So that worked out very, very well. And I don't go back to work then. I think I'm gonna take six months off and then I haven't decided after that. It depends on like, what way work is going with like permanent contracts etc so I will probably be off like most of next year. Patty's taking off time as well when the baby's born yeah, the five weeks. in April or May we don't know because I might have to go in for an emergency section or like a section or I might just naturally have the baby early or I might go on my due date I don't know. A lot of people are asking me as well in yesterday's vlog about been monitored by the hospital I actually I think I probably mentioned this on snapchat but I don't think I mentioned it on YouTube but I am gonna be monitored by my doctor every four weeks so I have to go back for scans every single four weeks and if they feel Who's snapchat who snapchat you said snapchat did I say snapchat yeah. I meant to say Instagram I haven't snapchat in like three years Oops, slip of the tongue. Um, why would I say Snapchat? What's wrong with me? Who am I? You took Snapchat pictures the other Did I? I meant to say Instagram. In What's wrong with me? Why is my brain not working? You're preggers, that's what's wrong. Who did that to me? It's just a big food, baby. <laughs> so anyway, I am going. I meant to say Instagrammed. I think I talked about this on Instagram that I am um, been monitored every four weeks and then if the doctor's not happy then I'll have to come in more regularly. But four weeks seems to be the thing. So yes, I am been monitored because I think a lot of my followers are like, oh my God, are they even monitoring you? Yes, 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 they are. But I'm not really thinking about it because it's Christmas and I've been bored stuck at home for the last two days because I'm not supposed to do anything, which is just kind of shite. So instead, this is like my big day out, going to to McDonald's. And Ireland's gone back into lockdown, so I can't do anything. My hair looks like shit, and it's not gonna be done until January, maybe later, because the lockdown could be going on till March. Who knows? Nobody knows anything, but it's just very crap. So I'm gonna have to take out my extensions myself like I did the last time, which will be fun and games. I had a lovely relaxing bath last night. We watched Love Actually. I wrapped all my Christmas presents, so they're all done. Mm -hmm. And I didn't vlog yesterday because I just wasn't, I wasn't, not that I wasn't able, but I was doing bits and pieces of work and stuff and it just, like time got away from me and it would have been the shortest vlog ever. So, anyway, we're nearly at McDonald's. Oh God, the queue of traffic. I will talk to you guys later. <laughs> Well, there is no kids meals, it's all breakfast. Uh, 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 I'm actually going to do a bit of makeup and sort my hair out today because I'm just sick of looking like the Grinch. <laughs> I was in Penny's the other day just getting wrapping paper and little bits and I went down to kind of like the cosmetics area and I seen three things that I wanted to show you guys today. They're not very exciting but they're I just thought I might show you. The first one is these eyelashes. These are the flutter lashes from the Daisy Daisy Duck Feeling Fabulous collection. They were only 250 but look how cute they are. They're actually really 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 nice lashes. 
they're quite big and wispy and then I picked up this Garnier micellar oil infused cleansing water I really needed a new like cleansing or makeup remover and this is the only one that they had that would look kind of reasonable if anybody knows any good makeup removers like just for taking off waterproof mascara mascara in general or eyeliner or anything like that just let me know because i actually had the pixie milk one and it was so good but it's like 35 euro and i was like oh dear god like i'm not paying 35 euro for a makeup remover just not happening so if anybody knows any alternatives that are a little bit more for affordable that are really good quality final thing that i bought in pennies was the bronze instant glow instant tan gel i know i'd spoke about the body blur one the last day and a lot of you had said that it was discontinued and that they were selling them off last year for like I think three euro they're originally six and it is one of the best blur products i don't know why pennies discontinued it i really don't get it like maybe it was like a copyright thing or that it was too close to the vita liberata i'm not really sure but a lot of people had recommended the barry m one said that it's quite similar it's a body blur instant product so i'll give that one a go as well i just like those instant tans because i don't i'm not like particularly really pale but i don't um obviously have a color in the winter time and i just like something to kind of make my complexion look a little bit brighter anyway i'm gonna do my makeup and my hair and try and spruce myself up a bit i just curled on my hair it's very 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 curly <laughs> i'll brush it out after so i'm just gonna do my makeup now but before I do any of my foundation I'm gonna fill in my brows and I think I've talked about this product before it's the XX Revolution X fine brow it's a lot of X's and it's the most amazing brow product and it's really heavy-duty the actual product itself and it only cost eight euro I think seven or eight euro I bought it in where did I get this boots and then you can buy it on Beauty Bay, which is just amazing. So I'm gonna brush out my my little laminated brows. I'm not gonna talk through this, I'm just gonna put music over it. And we'll zoom through this makeup look. I also briefly wanna talk about the Bobbi Brown vitamin enriched face base which looks like this i know a lot of you guys had asked me about it when i hauled it in one of my videos and you had asked if it was worth the money and what i thought of it and obviously i'd only just purchased it so i didn't really have like much to say about it but i've been using it every single time i put makeup on over my moisturizer and it is amazing it's so thick so you don't need that much like i usually take about that much of it and I will just apply it to my skin underneath my foundation and it's just super hydrating. Obviously my skin is, I mean I've talked about this at length, but it is very, very dry since becoming pregnant and I have an awful lot of dry patches. What the hell is that under my eye? It's like something black. Couldn't possibly mascara. I haven't worn mascara in like two days. I think it's glue actually. That's what it is off my eyelashes. Anyway, it is such a good moisturiser and really good base as well. And it just smells so good and it's worth the money. I really, 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 really recommend it.
Makeup done, now I'm ready to go absolutely nowhere. I'm gonna go downstairs and watch a movie. I just did my makeup because I just wanted something to do. And uh, yeah, I don't know, I felt like putting on makeup. Yeah, so I'm gonna watch a movie. I don't know what I wanna watch. I'm thinking, because I watched Love Actually and I've already watched Jingle All The Way and I've watched Home Alone 2, that The Grinch is probably the next one on the list. And then there's a couple of Christmas movies that we watch like on Christmas Day. Um, we'll watch The Polar Express tomorrow on Christmas Eve. And then on Christmas Day, I always watch The Family Stone in the morning. I don't know if you guys have ever seen that movie. I love that movie. And what's the other movie that we always watch Christmas Day? Oh, Four Christmases. I really like that movie as well. It's really, really funny. I think that's it. I don't watch Elf. I've talked about that before. Elf is like my least favorite Christmas movie. I actually can't stand it. Will Farrell annoys me to no end in that movie and it just makes me want to tear my hair out when I see it. I cannot stand that movie. I'm sorry. It's like an unpopular opinion but that's just the only Christmas movie I don't like. I'm sorry if you love that movie. Paddy's working downstairs. It's his last day of work today. I'd say he's so excited now he's on Christmas holidays. I'm so excited for Christmas holidays but there's not really a whole lot going on and you can't really do anything and you can't really see anybody and after Christmas Eve, I believe, it's only one household or two households in your house. I'm not really sure. I'm kind of rusty on the whole rules and what the hell's going on. I just know that we're going into level five lockdown on Christmas Eve. No, Christmas, St. Stephen's this day? Dear Lord, I don't know. St. Stephen's this day or Christmas Eve, we're going into level five. I'm not really sure which one. Anyway, my hair's really kind of crazy. I straightened my bangs. I don't know why I did that. Sure, I should have left it like with a like, kind of a curl going that way. So I'll have to do something with that because it's just too straight. Too, too straight and it's gone way too long. Like they used to be to about there and now they're like double the length, which is great. I like that my hair's getting long. Guess what, Chewie, we're going for a walk. We're going for a walk. Yes, we are. We're going for a walk. Go on, Chewy. Now throw it. Oh, look. Oh, it's no. Gone. Now he's panicking. <laughs> <laughs> Did he find it? Oh, mother of God. <laughs> You're too clever, Chewie. You outwitted them. Come on, Chewie. Come on, Chewie. Paddy oh. has it. It's up with Paddy, Chewie. Look, it's up there. He doesn't chase sticks. <laughs> Go. To get out of the house for a little while we decided to come on a little nature walk through the forest and it's really quiet and it's lovely. It's gonna go really really slowly because honestly <laughs> I'm probably gonna be in pain if I keep walking faster but I just needed to get fresh air and get out of the house but actually I just wanted to get out and go for like a little walk. It's so pretty in the forest. At least my makeup wasn't completely wasted today. I'm going to be using it in the forest. How are you Chewy? I didn't bring any food for Treats, I mean. Well, he's a champion dog. He doesn't need any treats. Oh my God, he's gonzo. It is really pretty though. <laughs> he's in the mug. Chewy. How are you enjoying your walk? <laughs> are you enjoying your walk? It's so gorgeous out here today. It's bloody freezing, but just for the view, it's so nice. I'm well wrapped up now because <laughs> it's so cold today, but it's just so crisp. It's just like a lovely winter's day. Really, really nice. Two days before Christmas. It doesn't feel like it. It's so weird. I can't believe it's going to be Christmas soon and like I said it just doesn't really feel like Christmas yet oh but it's so it's just so lovely and it's nice to get get a bit of fresh air 
out with Chewy. There's no other dogs around, so I just took him off of me. There's like nobody around anywhere. <laughs> So it's really, really quiet. There's actually nobody here at the lake at all. But yeah, we're going back to the car park now. So I have to put him back on his lead. Yeah, that boat's definitely taking on a bit of water. Oh, what did you do, Chewy? Chewy, do you wanna go swimming? Uh, no way, it's freezing, he says. Will we light the fire? It's too cold not to really, to be honest. Mm. The English, the we'll put a Christmas movie on, I think. Mary Queen of Scots not a Christmas movie. So I've uh, seen what um, your dad is just watching. What's he watch? Big Mouth? No, that's you watching that. Chewie got a treat after his walk. Are you enjoying that? Hi guys, it's the end of the night. I'm actually going to bed now. It's like, oh, I don't know my butt watches after dying, but I think it's near one o'clock. <laughs> anyway, I had like one of the best days this week and I just feel it's such good form and I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. So I will talk to all of you guys in my next vlog, which will be Christmas Eve, which is gonna be, I think the last vlog or maybe second last vlog, I haven't decided of the year, but I will talk to all of you in a beauty video because I have my hits and misses of 2020 coming up very, very soon. I love you guys so much and I will talk to you soon. Mwah. Bye guys.